Authorities were questioning a woman who worked at an upstate New York prison where two convicted killers escaped over the weekend as a manhunt entered its third day, police said on Monday. Schools in the rural community surrounding Clinton Correctional Facility in Dannemora, about 20 miles 30 km south of the Canadian border, implemented high security as convicted murderers Richard Matt, 48, and David Sweat, 34, remained on the loose. Their escape drew comparisons on social media to the movie's Shawshank Redemption, set at a rural prison, and escape from Alcatraz, because they used decoys to trick guards, making overnight bed checks. To make their escape, the first in the prison's 150-year history, the men cut through the steel walls at the back of their adjoining cells, and escaped through a steam pipe. They left behind a note reading, Have a nice day. A woman who worked in the maximum security prison, where construction was underway, was being questioned by police as a possible accomplice, New York State Police said, confirming a report in the New York Post, which cited unidentified sources. Earlier on Monday, Governor Andrew Cuomo said investigators were questioning a civilian staff member or contractor who may have helped in the escape, presumably the woman mentioned by police. We're looking at the civilian employees now and the private contractors to see if possibly if a civil employee or contractor was assisting the escape because they WOULDNT have equipment on their own, that's for sure, Cuomo told CNN. On the first day of school, since the prison break was discovered on Saturday, state police manned every school building in the district and planned to continue the ramp-up security through the week, said a spokeswoman for Superintendent Jonathan Parks. All outdoor activities were cancelled. Bus drivers will wait for students who wish to remain inside their houses until buses arrive, Parks said in a statement. Police said Matt was serving a sentence of 25 years to life following his conviction in the kidnapping and beating death of his boss near Buffalo, New York, on December 3, 1997. They described him as 6 feet 1.8 m, tall, 210 pounds 95 kg, with tattoos including Mexico Forever on his back and a Marine car insignia on his right shoulder. Sweat was serving a sentence of life without parole after his conviction in the shooting death of a Broome County Sheriff's deputy on July 4, 2002. He is 5 feet 11 inches 1.8 m, tall, 165 pounds 75 kg, with tattoos including rebel on his left arm, police said. New York is offering a $100,000 reward for information leading to the apprehension of the men it describes as dangerous and have notified law enforcement in Canada and Mexico about the fugitives. Cuomo warned that the pair could have traveled a great distance since escaping. They could be literally anywhere in the country now. These are really dangerous individuals.